no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net I think our culture is shrinking down to nothing Down to a singularity of mindless, emotionally worthless drivel That oozes out in droplets of schadenfreude Devoid of meaning, avoiding reason Filled with a creamy mixture of hatred, jealousy, and ignorance what would Papa Freud have to say about our inability to grow, develop, progress, and yet our breathtaking ability to devour, destroy, and molest? I was at a movie theater recently, and the offerings were Spider-Man, Batman, The Avengers, and I think a film called Katy Perry. Now, I'm not insulting any of those films. I'm just saying... It's not a lot of variety on the dance card. You would think we're living in a time of great creativity and, and creation, but the stuff that rises to the top, thanks to the amount of money it takes to make it pop, leaves something to be desired. One day soon, every movie in the theater will star the same white male actor with six-pack abs and his love interest with a six IQ, and the only thing that will change will be the color of the dude's cape, as he plays essentially the same superhero in every film. He's racked with doubt, but he conquers his fears to prove that every man can bliggity blue. And we'll pick the president by which movie sells the most tickets, rather than going through the whole trouble of voting. You want me to stand in line to vote? I thought I was doing you a favor. How about if you want me to vote so bad you put the ballot inside a chicken burrito and I'll write my answer in guac? So there won't be any congressmen or women in this near future. The entire government will just be a president who's also the only actor and the lead banker. And once every four years, we'll tally up the movie numbers to decide which color cape the president will wear. And then the people who voted for purple will dance around in the streets going, Yeah! You mother Purple for another four years! Now we'll finally fix this country! We'll get rid of schools and kids will only learn what they can garner from video games about the superhero. So they won't know math or science, but they'll know that a man can conquer his fears and overcome bliggity blue! Food will just be burritos and art will be fan fiction and paintings made from smash burritos. All prescription pills will have been condensed down to one single tablet called it all that numbs your mind and nerve endings to everything. Everyone stops complaining about any pains, fears, or problems they have when they pop a tablet of it all because it turns out caring and complaining go hand in hand. Once we don't care about anything, there's no more fretting, fussing, bemoaning, or bitching. The it all slogan will be if blissfully numb is wrong, then I don't. I don't really. I don't really care. I don't, I don't. We will all sit quietly in our tents watching one of our three movies or playing the video game. We won't live in a tent because we're protesting. We'll live there because all oh, the house has been foreclosed on and now we're mainly used for feral cats. Then again, maybe I've taken this all a little too far. Maybe I'm just trying to say, I think there might be too many superhero movies. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net, and this is the brand new full-length occupied documentary by filmmaker Dennis Trainer Jr. It's called American Autumn, and while supplies last, if you become a $10 per month member of the Moment of Clarity, you will uh, get a copy of this jaw-dropping documentary. It's really incredible. You're going to love it, and uh, I'll sign the copy and send it to you. Uh, you can do that at LeeCamp.net. Thanks. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.